The next question, uh, question four, it asks you to uh, separate the the data by gender and then uh, make two separate scatter plots. So let's go back to our data right here. So here's how you can uh, sort data on a spreadsheet. So we have right now gender is zeros and ones. Zeros are the uh, males, ones are the females. And notice they're all they're all mixed together. Um, it would be nice to be able to separate it. So here's what you do is you select everything. Just use your mouse, select, select all the data. There we go. Okay, and then you go to the spreadsheet, you go to data, click data, and then sort right here. And then it asks you to sort by what? Now, um, we want to sort by gender. So here, um, it, it, it might, if you have uh, columns, headings, gender, height, weight, then Excel might notice or whatever spreadsheet you're using might notice the um, the column headings and, and it'll say sort by gender height weight. If not, it'll say sort by column A, column B, column C. So I want gender or column A, your spreadsheet might say column A. So click gender. Okay, and then order from smallest to largest. So zero would be the smallest, one's the largest. Um, and then click okay. All right, so notice all the zeros are put first and all the ones come second. And not only that, but when you do the sort, um, the entire row goes with it. So this person here, gender zero, that person's height was 72, weight was 155. That was, in the original data, the 72 and the 155 went together in the same column with the zero. And so it, it, it carries all those other rows along with it. All right, now that you have the data sorted, then you can um, make a scatter plot of just the zeros, which is the, the females. So, um, excuse me, the males. The males are <laughs> easy to get them mixed up. So the males is zero. So click uh, height, weight, data, just for the zeros. So stop. Okay, row, row 58 is my last row with zeros for the gender. And then you click insert and uh, scatter plot and scatter. Okay, so here, here it is. This is for the males. All right, now let's do the same for the, for the females. So you click, just use your mouse again, click all the rows with the ones and click insert and scatter. Okay, now, now on this, on this situation, it's hard to compare these two scatter plots because the the scales are different here. Uh, for example, with the with the zeros, the scale is 64 to 76 on the x-axis, zero to 300 on the y-axis. But notice on the other graph, the x-axis is zero to 80 and the y-axis is zero to 200. So you can't really compare the two graphs. You have to have consistent um, axes labels, and so. Let's, so first of all, for chart title, um, uh, you can double click chart title and give yourself a new title. Um, this was the males. All right, and then um, let's have a consistent Y axis. So uh, you can click, you can right click on an axis and it says format axis and then um, bounds. Um, well, no one is zero, weighs zero pounds. And so you can go to maybe like 50. And I think the heaviest person I think is like 250. So you can do like zero to 250 scale by how about 25s. And so where it says units, major to 25 and enter. And then here it is, my Y axis scaled from zero, from 50 to 250 scaled by 50s. All right. For the other graph, let's do the same thing. Let's right click on the vertical axis, click format axis, and then, um, so same bounds. And so let's do uh, 50 is my minimum, maximum 250. And then the, the bound, let's scale by 25s again. Okay, press enter. Okay, so now it's a little easier to compare 
now that both axes, at least the vertical axes are the same, but the horizontal axes are, are still different. So let's, let's go back. Oh, and also let's, uh, let's label this females. Just double click the chart title. All right. Uh, now, um, back to the males. Let, let's, oops, hold on here. Kind of hard to get these separated here. Okay, here we go. So the horizontal axis. So the males right now is 64 to 76. That's the heights. The females is 0 to 80 for some strange reason. So let's just scale both of these. How about 50 to 80? All right, so let, let's start with the, with the males. Just right click on the x-axis, format axis. Okay, minimum, uh, let's do 50, maximum 80. Oh, it, it did it automatically. And then made, uh, scale, sure, scale by fives. Um, all right, and then press, press enter. Okay, so that's my horizontal. Now for my vertical, excuse me, not now for my horizontal on the females, uh, right click, click format axis, and then we'll do 50 to 80, scale by fives. All right. Okay, so I'm done with the formatting. So now I can take a look at these side by side with the uh, the axes labels are all the same. So now I, I can make a more reasonable comparison. So, so here we go. So I can see here that for the males, as the height increases, you can see the weight is increasing more rapidly in relation to the height. Uh, whereas for the females, Yes, as the height increases, weight in general in, it increases, but not it's not quite as a, a, as a rapid increase uh, in, in relation to the to the heights. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.